What is up, you guys? My name is Danny. My name is Irma. And my name is Chelly. And, and this, this is Let's Talk Pendejadas. As you guys can see, we have another guest over here, Miss Araceli. And for most of you guys that don't know her, Instagram is Chelly Loves Makeup 99. Mm-hmm. Chelly, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Chelly. I do makeup. I'm a full time content creator on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, everything. Uh, everywhere. So yeah. you can see me everywhere. Everywhere except OnlyFans. Ah, ah, coming, so soon. Coming, <laughs> soon. <laughs> coming soon. Coming <laughs> soon. I'm in the process. Ah, <laughs> I just need to get, like figure out what's my good side. Ah. Uh, I know. <laughs> Uh, my angles. I'm super excited that you're here. Like, you have yeah. no fucking idea. Like, you guys have no idea. I oh. love you guys. Like, I've been watching you guys for so long. Like, oh. You guys had the podcast, and I was like, oh my god, they came together and made a podcast. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you a little <laughs> secret. Uh, and I'm gonna put your man on blast. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yes, I mean, yes, I mean. I already like, had you in mind from like a while ago. Mm-hmm. Even like me and Irma were talking about it. We had a list of people of who we wanted, mm-hmm. yes. and I genuinely, I have always said like, look, I don't care about the following. I don't care about how many likes you get. I don't care about anything of that sort. Social media is bullshit to me. Like I, if I like you as a genuine person, mm-hmm. and if me and Irma have vibed with you in a very good way, we're like, mm-hmm. let's do it. Yes. And then yeah. he texts me and he goes, "Can you please have Chelly on your thing?" And I was like, "Miss Bang, she's already on my list." <laughs> like, don't even gotta ask. We said. <laughs> and I was like, "No, she is gonna come on," and I am so happy that you're here now. Me too. I'm so happy. I love you guys so much. Aww, and like you. you said, like I feel like I don't know. I've been watching you guys for so long. I just feel like I already know you guys. Guys, I'm like, uh, but she's I my, nervous. she's my tia. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was nervous because I'm like, I don't have like a huge following, like you know, people that get invited to podcasts, and I was like, I feel like out of place almost. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but not at all. Honestly, Mm-mm. like we are here to just like vibe and get to know yeah. everybody, no matter what the case is, no matter like as Danny said, we don't care about following you. Like when we know someone's just a genuine person, like yeah. that's what we love about people. You yeah, know what I mean? and we just kind of want to have like a good time, and exactly, like like I said, yeah. social media is all. <laughs> Okay, well, like to the right, uh, right. <laughs> we just kind of want to have like a good time. We don't give a fuck about the likes, the following, mm-hmm. and that's why like we, me and Irma, created this podcast is because of that reason. Okay. We do not care about what others think as long as we know that we are enjoying, are, are basically enjoying doing this and having a good time. Fuck the world at the end of the day. Who gives yeah. a fuck of what they have to say? <laughs> We're enjoying our time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. But before we go on with the rest of the show, we want to do our segment line of, of the week. week. And um, normally we have like our guests like bring like a, a special a, little wine of their yeah. favorites or something like that. But, but we were like, let's go ahead and try a new wine. Like all three of us. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. So Irma actually went out and chose this wine. I'm not good. Most of the wine that we get is like in Italian. So this one is actually called Apothetic Cob Carbonet Sobornene. Ah, <laughs> nailed it. Uh, it was right on the money. Um, it says it's... Uh, uh, smooth and full bodied it is from california 2019 um is this a red wine or mom yes it should oh, okay, be a red okay, wine okay. so it should be good hopefully uh, hopefully you know, it is it's always a hit and miss in wine i don't know how you how you feel about wines but i don't know do you like yeah, bitter like sweet, sweet, wine. sweet wines yes I feel like we have okay, the same taste. yes i agree so well, he he knows a lot about like alcohol and wine so uh, he's like smell it uh, he's, he's like, like an alcoholic <laughs> yeah, he's around. Not, not <laughs> a wine connoisseur oh an artificial ah, so he's ah. all judging me right now he's like this fucking dumbass doesn't even know how to pronounce wine uh, let me show him <laughs> <laughs> but look, he it over. smells like it oh. smells like it's gonna taste good low key i don't Let's know see. i'm scared <laughs> it feels a little strong oh it does kind of smell yeah, really good yeah mm-hmm. what's your favorite type of wine the sweet ones no yeah, yeah like stella rose black <laughs> Oh, no, I'm scared. Mm, it's okay. It's tolerable. Oh. Okay. What do you think? We're like... <laughs> it tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made the wrong choice of getting this one. Fuck. I'm uh-huh. like, sad. Damn. I feel like this is going to get you drunk fast. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. Is, like, it's always the bitter strong. ones that get you the most yeah. strong. Yeah, they have the more That's alcohol in uh, Let's much. chug it. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys actually finish your wine like before the show's over? Sometimes. Sometimes when it's yeah. good, yeah. Lately, I feel like the <laughs> ones that we've had before, we haven't really been finishing as much. They've been a little bit too bitter for our liking. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's very dry. uh, It is dry. Yeah. Yeah, That's what I was thinking too. At the end of the day, we're just trying wine because we want to get fucked up. (laughs) That's our only reason why we have wine of the week. (laughs) We want to get fucked up. But I think like for our next type of segment that we want to do, I want to do tequila, Nick. I I feel like trying pure tequila, (laughs) I've seen so many good things about it. And actually trying to do it like the way that you do it, like leave it in your mouth. Like swish swish it it in your mouth. But I'm scared because alcohol like that, I get, Mm. I gag. So hard. I'm all checking this before we go <laughs> You're like, mm, mm, mm. I don't have a gag reflex, so <laughs> that's not weird for me. I'm like, let's race it. <laughs> okay, ready? We'll, we'll try to at least finish half of it. Um, right? Cheers. We're just trying to get drunk. Oh my fucking god! Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> She's like, I couldn't even check it. It's in my nose. Oh fuck! That shit hurt. Oh. No, it was really bitter. It's Low really key. dry. Mm-hmm. Damn. And of course, before we continue on with the episode, we do want to give a huge thanks to one of our subscribers or our listeners here thank you so much to jj's vlogs muchas gracias te chupo la chicha el rato (laughs) (laughs) and if not me chupas la mia (laughs) (laughs) like i don't know like i just can't get the taste like out of my mouth you know what it tastes good and then it tastes bad after Uh it's the aftertaste huh it's kind of like a little addicting type Mm -hmm. of taste like you want to (laughs) continue drinking it but you're like Wow. That's the flavor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the flavors are melting on my tongue. Ah. <laughs> Wait, what do you go by? Do you go by Araceli or Chelly? Chelly. Chelly? Okay, okay. Where, did, where did Chelly come from? Um, Just if your name is Araceli, everyone knows yes. your name is Chelly. You know, like. So, like, Stefan is like, um, what's it called? No, no, no. Gretel, a lot of people call them, like, no, no, no. Wait, wait. What is it? I don't wait. know. <laughs> Wait, no, I know that there's, like, a certain, like... like if your name oh. is Jesus, it's Chewy. Yeah. Oh, right? yes, 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 Or yes. also, if it's Jasmine, it's Prin... Pri- pri- Princess, what? Ah, princesa. Ah. I, was about to say, I don't know. <laughs> no, but I know what you mean. Right? Like, I have yeah. a lot of friends that have that too, but like, I don't know why I can't think of it right now. I don't yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. But I do have a prima that's named Araceli, and her we call her Chelly. Basically, do you prefer to go by Chelly? I used to hate it, but now mm. I prefer people call me Chelly. Oh, okay, okay. You know, you do social media, you do a lot of like Instagram, TikToks, all that fun stuff, and I'm pretty mm. sure that you do enjoy it. But how do you juggle that around with your social life and your personal life? How do you handle that? early on when I first started and I didn't have him at home to help me uh, I just I would enjoy doing what I was doing so I like doing makeup and it didn't seem like I had to juggle things it was just like makeup was me time and I got to share it with my followers yeah. and then my kids are always a part of my content too mm-hmm. so like they're always in the background you hear them oh, crying yeah. people hate it people love it but they're like pay attention to your just, kids uh, and you're all fuck it I love my eye uh, like, my eyelashes <laughs> on. my kids are crying in the back yeah. But, but yeah I like like to just bring them together so it's not like this is my job and this is your just one yeah it just, <laughs> you just try to make it, it a lot easier for yourself yeah. to combine both of them so like you have like it's pretty much like a family channel but it's mm-hmm. still makeup and it's still bringing people into mm-hmm. your life and exactly. stuff like that in uh, reality yeah, yeah and it's reality. super hard i don't i don't know like when it comes to like social media and stuff like that like to me personally i find it very hard to like differentiate it because yeah. you know like people still judge mm-hmm. and people will criticize you on whatever the fuck they want exactly. no matter what you do like they will criticize you in the harshest way possible because in their eyes it's not okay you know what i mean oh yeah 100 percent. and you know what i like how you mentioned that you like doing your makeup because you enjoy it it's kind of like self-care kind of mm-hmm. thing like it's you time mm-hmm. you are just like enjoying yourself and easily you could just like put on the camera and you're just like mm-hmm. okay i'm gonna just record real quick mm-hmm. while your like kids are just around there yeah. having fun you know what i mean yeah. and it's very like enjoyable meaning like you're able to enjoy your life that way it's not yeah. stressful at yeah. all you know what i mean yeah so when did you start realizing that like you're you finally were like oh i want to make this like full time and i want my husband to be like be here and i want him to like experience all this with me i don't think we ever realized it it was just something that happened and it's actually Aww. i just started making money off of like my content mm-hmm. recently within oh. like the last year oh so, okay okay hey, but before then i was doing it just because i loved it and then that helped because i didn't have to make a decision like oh i want to do this full time or i don't yeah it just everything kind of fell into place it was never something i thought i could mm-hmm. make money off of i didn't think people would pay pay for you to put eyeliner on or something Uh uh-huh it's just so different it's a different Mm -hmm. type of thing like when alan first started it we were in high school so me and alan were in high school when we first started well when he first started it so we had a very deep conversation before when we got off of high school i was like look social media is fake like mm-hmm. they're not gonna pay you mm-hmm. they're not gonna do any of that yeah. you need to go get a job you want to go work at burger king i know a couple <laughs> people that can work there you know i just work with strings yeah right yeah. i was like you want to flip some burgers i can help you i got you <laughs> no but um and then he started getting paid from it and i was like wait let me quit my job and you support me ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this industry is still really, really brand new because a lot of people are still coming into it and a lot of people think that they know what they want. With you, I know a lot of people that have started it because of the money, but you didn't. It kind of just mm, kind of yeah. flowed oh, into yeah. it. And yeah. that's like the best thing to do because yeah. if not, then you're just kind of like doing it for the money and it shows on camera. You know what I mean? With social media and everything aligning with your family and stuff like that, has it fucked up your mental health in any sort of way? I feel like it has, but not because of the reason people would think like people being rude, the hate. It doesn't. That's not why my mental health is like declining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> it's because of the work. It is a lot of work. And we mm -hmm. were just talking about people want to go into it thinking like, oh, I'm just going to get money. I'm going to get PR. It's going to be great. But you have to be self-employed or to be an entrepreneur. You have to like push yourself a lot. And I feel like me pushing myself and pushing myself to points where I'm like, I, I want to give up. I just want to go get a regular job. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is hard that way mentally. The hate is a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, for sure. A lot of like we've said it before is just when it comes to being in a self-taught person or even an entrepreneur or doing any of that sort of stuff, you have to find any type of way to find an income, oh, yeah. you know, and it's just like, mm -hmm. what if one day you're steady with a, a check of like from, let's say, a big corporation mm -hmm. and then later on they want to pull out. It's like, fuck, mm -hmm. now I have to work two times harder because yeah. they don't want to pay me or what content am I going to do today? Like, am I OK with filming this? Am I going to mm -hmm. say something yeah. bad? It's just so many different ways that your mental health can fuck up with social media. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and comparing yourself to other people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. <sighs> I'm like, uh, why are they doing this? And I feel like I'm just I should be doing things like that, but I'm not. And then I get mm -hmm. down on myself. And I'm like, no, oh, I'm not good. Yeah. enough. No. For yeah, sure. for sure. I think social media definitely has a, a image that you have to. They have like expectations kind of thing mm -hmm. of like when you're on your feed, like all you see is basically all these girls and like bomb ass bodies mm -hmm. and bikinis and all that shit. But mm -hmm. like, and that's what I feel like causes oneself like stress because you're like, fuck, like, am I not doing it right? Am mm -hmm. I not in the right position? Am I, what else do I have to do to be on that? But at the end of the day, like, mm -hmm. you just have to do you and slowly for surely, like in this case for you, it has gone so amazing and you have been yeah. doing so good. Like, and honestly, you should be very proud of yourself, you oh, know? You have you. definitely come like a long way and honestly, like, it shows for sure. Thank like, you. for sure, mental health is such a huge, mm -hmm. like, difficult thing to deal with. But at the end of the day, as long as you have that support system, yeah. I feel like it definitely yeah. does help a lot. You know what I, I mean? I do feel lucky, yeah, because I have a, a lot of support at home. And that's the reason why I can do what I do. I can yeah. do makeup. I can stay home because... It wasn't just me and Saul. It was a village. It was his mom, his dad, my mom, my sisters, and everybody coming oh, together. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, everybody that's crazy. With my kid, We have four kids, by the way. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> oh, wait, it, really? I, not, yeah. I thought you only had two. <gasps> Danny, I have four kids. Uh, wait. wait. Today's video is sponsored by Honey, the easiest way to shop on your iPhone or computer. I feel like whenever you're shopping online, it could be very stressful and annoying. Because, girl, like, these checkout products prices they're pretty high up there mm -hmm. like i want some savings where are they at who you know doesn't want to save some coin i mean come on exactly and of course honey is coming through with the checkout we are officially able to get some savings on that checkout cart honestly when it comes to online shopping the one thing that i hate doing is looking for promo codes oh, yeah. and honestly honey makes it super easy for you to just to look all over the web and search for the best promo code to save you the most amount of money and that's why honey is actually one of my best friends thanks to honey manually searching for coupons is a thing of the past honey is a free shopping tool that scores the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones on your cart mm -hmm. imagine shopping on one of your favorite sites and honey automatically prompts a button on your top browser that says apply coupons that is how easy it is generally when i end up buying birthday gifts for like my friends and stuff like that the easiest way that i can do it is save some money on their first gift and then with the money that i saved i can buy more gifts and that's where honey comes in they make it so easy for me to go ahead and save some money that i can even buy more presents and with the more presents that they get they gain to save even more money i mean if you're gonna be saving money on gifts i'm hoping for mine this year i'm just uh, kidding <laughs> but of course with saving money father's day just passed by and i got him some clothes and honestly i saved so much just from that like irma I, irma tell us how much money did you save mm, i'd probably say about 15 bucks honey doesn't just work on your desktop it also works on your 
iPhone. And who doesn't have an iPhone nowadays? All you have to do is activate the tool on your Safari and you're ready to shop on the go. If you don't have Honey already, you're straight up missing out. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid, but you're showing this show support. But of course, get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash LTP. Once again, that's joinhoney.com slash LTP. Oh my God, Miss Thing, you look bomb. Oh, yeah. Girl. You look so no, good for four kids. Sex it in. Kelly Kirk, come in. Ah. <laughs> you guys can Photoshop. Ah. <laughs> but honestly, dude, that's crazy. How old are they again? I have a nine year old son, a seven year old daughter, a four year old daughter, and a two year old daughter. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. And they all get along, I'm guessing, right? They're, or, they're good kids. They you guys were horny. I mean, ah. I mean, ah. <laughs> back to back, there are like more kids, please. I've only ah. said if I was like a, a straight man, like I would probably yes. have a lot of kids that I don't even know about. <laughs> I love sex. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little horror. Can I help it? I don't care. There's little Danny's probably everywhere right now <laughs> down the drain. <laughs> no. And you guys have are planning on having more? No. no? I, You're like no. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind. be Beyonce body. Ah, <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. How, how old are you? I'm 28. I'm going to be 29 this year. Oh, oh my God, dude. You guys look so good. Honestly, <laughs> you look hella young. Like, that's a good thing. You got really good jeans, girls, because yes. you'd be looking like you're under 25. Like, I legit. think under 20. Ah. I think I look 30. <laughs> I think no. I need to go back to my surgeon and tell him more Botox, please. Like, What's I was like, please, I want to look like Chelly. Yeah. <laughs> Let her. This is my reference picture, please. I want her titties too. Exactly <laughs> like this. That is so crazy oh because, like, now since we were talking about how social media could affect us because of the haters and all that stuff, how do you not let that phase you? Like, in the beginning, it it was hard because no you know when you're just starting and you're not used to like getting on and seeing somebody message you a paragraph about why they hate you why you're fat like yeah so that gets hard and it gets discouraging and especially with me i have a thin skin like anybody who could get to me back then oh, yeah. but it's taken me years <laughs> of abuse online <laughs> <laughs> taking the critiques i guess <laughs> no but yeah it's taken me a while to grow a thicker skin and not yeah. let it affect me now i just feel it like is. social media is so stupid <laughs> no i'm being 100%, fucking serious 100%. me you know like i have had my own take in like fucking hate in social yeah. media and i'm okay with it i am here for it i feel mm -hmm. like teresa at that <laughs> moment because i genuinely don't care like i don't care if i say something wrong and like I, of course i'm not gonna say something like terrible that or offensive is gonna, or anything, offensive that's know? gonna like cancel me in that sort of way but i know my limits i know what people want and I know how to stir up like the pot yeah. and that's the thing with social media it's a fucking joke it's you know, a game it's so it funny is. when we go live like at night people like I'll literally make up lies about myself and my husband I'm like yeah I cheated Stop. on him last night and like, I make <laughs> things up because people are gonna run with it and mm -hmm. I'm like who cares it's funny it's exactly. funny exactly. and I literally <laughs> always said that if I was famous I would make up the stupidest yes. fucking things yes. ever yes. because people don't know you and people will literally criticize you for whatever fucking reason <laughs> exactly. there is when I go online and this is the thing that I love. When I go online, I tell people, bully me. Bully me. I want you guys to tell mm -hmm. me whatever the fuck you guys want. Right. And then people will start bullying me. I'm like, but just remember, I'm going to look at your profile pic. I'm going to bully your ass. <laughs> And if you get mad about it, that's Don't. not my problem. Mm. And then five seconds later, the first person that I fucking bully and I get fucking canceled right then and there. And my live is shut off. I'm yeah. like, y'all are some sensitive ass bitches. Very sensitive. And other than that, though, I feel like haters are kind of good because at the end of the day, they bring in the views and they bring and in the content. Uh, yeah, and views They pay. really do. I so thank you. Facebook so, page. I mean, I remember... Ah, the Facebook page. Come through, please. <laughs> I remember I remember what the whole thing with me and Irma was going on. I don't know if you yeah. saw that. Um, you know, me and Irma don't give a fuck. Yeah, We're literally yeah. here chilling, vibing, exactly. and we don't care. <laughs> and like I said, at that moment, my views and my my story views were like skyrocketing. So I was like emailing my friends, uh, my friends, my uh, my people, like to be like, look, my views are high. You want to change the rate to like five thousand dollars? <laughs> You're like, give me a raise, please. <laughs> no, I genuinely, I'm that type of person. I just don't care. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, I can be the exact same thing. I can make a fake profile and I can go ahead and comment on someone else's mm -hmm. and make them feel thirty times worse than exactly. anything but at the end of the day it's, it's just low life time. people that are very insecure about themselves and i just yeah. like i said i don't care exactly. but i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna start faking my shit on life Dude, I, I do. honestly i'm gonna be like and so i'm fucking cheated on me <laughs> no people don't know i could literally be like i'm a millionaire who wants money or my mom almost <laughs> 
killed me. <laughs> I don't know. My little brother is Chucky. <laughs> Oh, fucking like, that's no. half true. <laughs> Realistically, social media is a game and it's all entertainment. It's entertainment. You have to mm-hmm. get on and you have to yes. entertain people. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter. I can literally, literally, our our lives are novelas. And yeah. that's yeah. what I want to live it. I want to exactly. live it as a novella. And that's why when we get onto cameras, we are the f- ah, we're fake, fake people. <laughs> None of this is real. This is not. <laughs> this is all fake. This is all AI simulation. <laughs> I like to think about it that way. And a lot of people have criticized me. It's like, Danny, you need to be your true self and then i become my true self and, and then, then people they're all hate fucking hating who I am, like, and some people girl, you, love it yeah, you're telling the story of my life right now <laughs> i'm like can you figure it out i'm like, like I'm, tired. I'm tired i'm tired of being fake <laughs> I'm like, let me let me let me go to sleep for a little bit i'll wake up and, and see how i feel i'll, I'll, I'll like more gay tomorrow yeah. <laughs> social media is just crazy in general i'm just so shocked of how like big and like crazy has probably gotten one is because of the haters and two how just more sensitive people have gotten which is the more unfortunate part about it Mm -hmm. because people will do anything as you said they'll cancel anybody for anything they'll take little snippets of like a video and just crop it out like they will do anything to make something so like huge and at the end of the day like shit i mean i guess it's benefits at the end of the day (laughs) yeah it's it's just views and that's all i'm here for it i'm just here to cut a check and that's fucking it (laughs) i mean i'm here to entertain you guys as well you know claim to hate drama and stuff but that's what gets the most views. yeah so you don't hate it you and then it. did you i don't know if you guys have seen have you seen the whole controversy of like kim kardashian right now of how like she like ripped the oh, yeah. marilyn monroe oh, dress my gosh, and then like people are finally depicting it and it's like that's a picture from two years ago what are you guys talking about yeah. it just goes to show how people will try to make a story out of something and it's mm-hmm. not even true social media is so fucking fake like that it like is. you fake can news. get your news out of anything <laughs> i can see the world is gonna end tomorrow and people will believe it yeah pretty much i and, believe it <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow i'm gonna die that's why I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little lightweight, so I'm a little tipsy a little bit. So I feel a little hot here. You know what I mean? Hold up. No, I am a little hot because I feel like it's hitting me. Wine has a tendency of hitting me hard. Is that your second yeah. Yes. Whoa. Is there something wrong? A baby second. Do you guys want more? Because there's only a little bit. You and Irma can share that. Not a lot of people like to acknowledge mental health and type of mental helps that there is. Do you struggle with one in particular? Um, anxiety would be my biggest one. Wait again. again. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. H E L P. Life is full of twists and turns, and it's important to be there for yourself at all times. BetterHelp. H E L P. Online will help help and assess your needs and can match with your own licensed professional therapist in less than 48 hours that's quick that's honestly really really quick it really is because i feel like to get an appointment for an actual therapist in person or even on zoom takes a long uh, no <laughs> and not only that it's just like you're kind of at a mental state at that very moment and you need someone to talk to and i'm so glad that better help is here to help any of us in need honestly when i was younger i don't know if irma has ever taken any type of therapy but i have and they definitely did help me out in a lot of things and it makes me the type of person that i am so if you are someone that's in need better help h-e-l-p is going to be there for you for whatever reason and you have a judge-free zone and with that being said i feel like this definitely helps with having help as a normal thing back then it used to be very taboo and not very mentioned but mm-hmm. now since we have these easy access online things it makes a huge difference and it feels more comfortable knowing that if someone isn't comfortable mentioning this to somebody personally you'll know that it's someone that's going to keep everything basically in secret for you and you don't feel like you're going to get exposed it's not a crisis line or self-help it's an actual professional therapist securely online and it's available to people worldwide you can log into your account at any time and you can message your therapist right away you can schedule a video call or a phone call so you don't have to show your face on camera and you can schedule that weekly if you want to it's super easy to do it's a few clicks on your laptop or on your phone better help h-e-l-p is the best way to invest in yourself. And not only that, BetterHelp is affordable than any other therapist. And you have access to it right away. And they have a special discount for our listeners here at Let's Talk Pendejadas. You get 10% off your first month. So go ahead and type in on the browser at betterhelp.com slash LTP. Once again, that's betterhelp.com slash LTP. It's kind of difficult with that one because anxiety, it's not like you can see it. It's not like my arm is blue 
bleeding. Mm-hmm. It's like just worriedness and like it's all mental panic attacks and anxiety mm-hmm. attacks. Yeah, feeling the heavy chest on your mm-hmm. fucking like it's just that weight on like your you chest. Feel like you need to go to the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, honestly, it's yeah. the worst feeling. What has been one of your worst anxiety attacks? Um, probably right after I had my third baby, I was just suffering from postpartum depression. Oh my, my God. anxiety was like through the roof. This is actually when I started my um, makeup page, and I actually started it to help with my like mental health problems yeah, yeah. I was d- depressed in like the worst way um but it did help me a lot so i love social media for that oh, <laughs> that's good at um, least that at least something came so out it, good exactly. <laughs> no and the girls that follow me they're just all the sweetest they're a lot of support for me but you know it's like back and forth they say like when they're struggling with their mental health they watch me and like they laugh and mm-hmm. honestly that's why i go on at the end of the day exactly. people hate on me a lot <laughs> for like you know we do garage chronicles we we like smoke and we yeah. go live and just make people laugh but that's what i want to do if i can help somebody that's having a rough day exactly it's just yeah. giving them that peace of mind that like or just giving them that laughter at the end mm-hmm. of the day just a little smile can change yeah. someone's type of thing and i also suffer from anxiety and i suffer it from really 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 yeah. bad from like my childhood and stuff like that i've learned to deal with it and i've learned to like walk past through it and like not think about it too much but it you know a lot of people think anxiety like you said they don't see it mm-hmm. they don't they can't how, how do I explain it? They don't know what you're going through because at the end of the day, everyone's anxiety is a lot different. Mm-hmm. Um, and with my anxiety, I love weed for that reason. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, honestly, 100%. And that's yeah. why, you know, I smoke. I don't know if you smoke yeah. for that reason, but mm-hmm. I feel like smoking helps so much just to relax. For me personally, it just re- depends on the strain. But regardless of the case, if I smoke, I'm just like, okay, like I could finally relax. Yeah. yeah and the like whenever like, whenever we go to like beauty events or stuff yes. like that, it's I get the really biggest anxiety attack because I, I don't really talk about like stuff like this on online or anything like that because I don't want to bash Alan or anything like that mm-hmm. but this is like my own experience whenever I go to like beauty events or stuff like that people are very fake over there and people would like to like show up this front that yes. they are better than you and when I have that like I don't I don't look at them and I'm like oh you're better than me but I kind of they have this presence of like I have this amount of following mm-hmm. and I'm better than you so mm-hmm. you need yes. to move the fuck out of the way and I take my anxiety pills at which is my <laughs> weed edibles at <laughs> and then I'm like, no, bitch, I'm better than you like, <laughs> with my little tiny 40k. <laughs> excuse me, humble yourself, sir. <laughs> yeah, but- Remember, you are at zero. <laughs> <laughs> Weed just has a bad stigma, I think, because people oh, are okay if you binge drink and like make it your whole personality to mm-hmm. drink online. Mm-hmm. But the moment you're like, "Hey, I'm a mom of four. I put my kids to bed, and I just want to smoke with my husband and laugh." Yeah, people it's, are like, it's hey, I have it. to yeah, it's because people yeah. think like weed. I don't even compare it to alcohol because at the end of the day, weed to me is a very neutralizing yes. type of substance yes. to me. And I kid you not, if something goes on, let's say my house gets on fire, I can pull out of that way quicker than I can with alcohol. Alcohol has that effect on me where like I'll be like my house is on fire. Oh, oh my god, god. let's buddy. jump in. <laughs> but like, like let's make s'mores. Yeah, right? <laughs> but like with weed, I'll just be like, let's yes. make s'mores. Yes. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yes. I'm just kidding. And then your house would have never caught on fire. In the yeah, place. Exactly. I would have just been doing s'mores. <laughs> it's just more logical though when you're smoking yes. and stuff. You're I can definitely 100 percent take care of my kids in my house. When we're in the garage, my daughter will come down if she wakes up in the middle of the night. She's my seven year old, and she's like, I need this. Okay. Okay, let me help you get it. I'm not like belligerent, like blacked yeah. out. You're just like, yeah, like okay, dead. Miha, like no, exactly. Yeah. And once you see your kid, you like snap out of it. You're like, okay, normal. And then once you go sit down, you're like, okay, uh, no, okay <laughs> I'm relaxed now. It's a mom superpower. Okay? No, it really is. Ah, <laughs> Jinx. Jinx, you owe me a fucking couple wine. wine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I feel like, like you said, weed <laughs> has a very bad presentation present. basically towards society yeah. and stuff. Like, come on, they already made that. Fucking DUI shit. Like, okay, I get it. There's is people who get blown as fuck and they don't know how to tolerate them. But those are the fucking people who fucking it up for us. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but it's but kind like, of ridiculous. What's the worst you can do on weed? Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> No, like, honestly, bitch up. me. <laughs> <laughs> I've thrown up today too. I, I've thrown up, oh my God, one time. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never said this because this is a little embarrassing, okay? <laughs> one time we were all smoking, me and Irma, all of, like me, Irma, <laughs> Alan, all of us, like we were all just smoking and vibing. <laughs> and we had a lot of food because we had a party from the night before. Yeah. So me and Irma just kept eating and eating and eating. And we were like, fuck, I'm still hungry. Yeah, so we ordered fucking Postmates and then we got some <laughs> chips and like we kept eating. We kept growing. So I literally was like chilling on the sofa watching a fucking TV show and then I get up and I throw up in my mouth and it's all like, oh no. <laughs> 
like my chubby cheeks i felt so bad and i was like what's going on why am i throwing up i'm not drunk so i go to the sink and i throw it up and i was like fuck i think i overate and after yeah. that i was like well postmates will be deleted off of my phone <laughs> it's better to throw up the food than the alcohol that's for sure yeah. though no it really is though anyways going back to like the whole topic of like mental health and like you know social media and stuff like that you were saying yourself that you struggle with anxiety a lot does the anxiety come from the past or like from what you were kind of like experiencing from the moment when you were like well you said that it was after your third your third kid because of your yeah. postpartum and stuff like that yeah. so that was basically the start of when you started getting anxiety or was it way before because i think that was yeah. your worst anxiety attack, yeah no? that was just like i think a buildup of everything but okay um i do i know you guys did an episode on childhood trauma i was like i wish i could have been on that episode <laughs> but um yeah i feel like it comes from childhood and a lot of like unresolved things so i'm thinking about going to therapy so we can like work oh, through God. that but yeah the anxiety was just like i noticed it more after my third and i think that with every like baby because now i have four uh -huh. um it just gets worse <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, dude that sucks i don't know it's just like like you said like it's all from childhood mm -hmm. i will i don't blame from anything mm -hmm. that happened to me as a child but i just wish that there wasn't any type of negative things that i have to take with me as i get older because mm -hmm. it builds me and it sucks because now i can't be as social as i want to be because of my childhood they restricted me from it and it's just it just sucks you know what i mean i just hate this type of feeling that i have now when i have to talk to people like for example like you just mm -hmm. coming into like the house i kind of just like put it behind my head that i was like she's coming mm -hmm. and i kid you not when i have these type of things of interactions with people that i haven't fully interacted with i go to alan and i'm like okay babe like when i go up to her what do i say like do i say hi babe how are you like yes. you know like what do i do and he just goes all you have to do is relax I'm and breathe. let it <laughs> yeah. let it flow but it's so hard it's and so hard that's why we were talking about we smoke weed because it when you smoke like take two hits and then you're a normal person yeah, yeah. no it really does i feel like <laughs> i'm like this is how normal people feel. <laughs> right? yeah right i was like this is what trauma doesn't feel like yeah. I, I, <laughs> no but it's just like an overthinking scenario anxiety that a lot of people get that mm -hmm. you just don't know how to control it and like i said it just goes back to the whole childhood thing i don't blame absolutely anybody for what happened to me as a child but i do wish i could have gotten help a lot sooner and now here i am like you said like i have to get therapy for it and it's even scarier getting therapy mm -hmm. for it because you're like what if this person judges me or what if yeah. it's not the same thought process that exactly. they think of yeah. and what i was gonna say also is like when when we were kids like we didn't know what that feeling was we yeah. thought it was a normal feeling and i feel like depending on like the kind of family i feel like with hispanic families it's never talked about mm -hmm. about anxiety because mm -hmm. we're not aware of it fam my parents don't know anything about that until yeah. like further now like estamos creciendo and i mentioned it to her she's like oh like you know what i mean mm -hmm. and i feel like that's why now it's a bit like it's crazy how as a kid like it should have been presented more if only like our parents really knew what yeah. exactly was going on you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. like i feel like sometimes parents like i know my parents for sure like when we would go to doctors and stuff like they would just try to take the easiest route because it was so many kids of us you know <laughs> she's trying to mantener todos trying to make sure like everything's good like my parents grew up not having like the most money and stuff so of course they had their own stress to deal with so you know what i mean so i feel yeah. like the anxiety kind of thing should if i feel like if it was more brought up normally like as a kid yeah. i feel like it would have helped out so much but the good thing at least with that it's helping us grow more as like we're getting older and mm -hmm. we're learning about this and now we're able to present this to like our future kids and yeah. understand and them a bit more kids, so my son has i've noticed he has anxiety and he gets anxiety attacks so the good thing is you know i can help him and i'm not a parent who's like no like like that fine. doesn't exist yeah. like yeah. just like, breathe uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know what my mom just had her first ever panic attack at work and she called me and she goes danny i can't breathe i feel like i need to go to the hospital like my heart is racing and like i'm sweating and i'm like mom i was like you need to breathe and she goes no danny i need to go to the hospital you need to pick me up from work right now and i was like mom you need to breathe i was like you're having an anxiety attack my mom and she she goes yeah and i was way. like i was like what's going on like why are you feeling like this she's like it's because like i was about to present and like i just didn't know if they were gonna like it and i was like okay i was like so what like i the way that i stare with anxiety and stuff like that i try to distract them so like i'll be like so how was your day did you already eat and then she's like i feel so much better yeah. i'm like see i was like you don't know what's been happening to me the last couple of years <laughs> yeah. 
mm-hmm. and this is how it feels so now you understand yeah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. but leading off to mental health and stuff you ever get any backlash for any controversy that your sister get into or anything yes i do no way <laughs> i feel like people just i mean it's gonna happen it's inevitable like it, yeah. if anybody has a sibling online or like somebody that they're close to online if something happens with that person they run to you and they're like why are you, are you gonna say something are you gonna do something yeah. like you and your sister this and that they try to group us together but and i feel like in the beginning people actually were trying to like make us not like each other i'm like we're sisters what the heck how is that even possible it's like weird. we're blood and then, <laughs> so we would be like oh my gosh like people are leaving hate messages on my page because you and then i think we were like letting it get to us but yeah. now we realize like it's not me against bianca or bianca against me it's me and her mm. against you the know, world everybody. pretty yeah. much yeah. no yeah you know uh, alan has never really gotten into any type of controversy we're not siblings so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would be weird well, I- <laughs> no but you know we're a couple so when it comes to it alan started social media a lot way before a lot of people online have a tendency of comparing me and alan things that i do get towards it it's like let's say me and irma or me and irma have like an inside joke yeah. and then we include alan to it and then alan includes it to like the world people will assume that we are copying alan and then it's like we don't care about like what people no, think yeah. you know but it's like it's like frustrating because then you're getting hit you're exactly like alan like yeah. stop yeah. acting like oh him oh my gosh we get that a lot and i'm like bitch like i suck his dick like (laughs) of course of course i'm gonna have his inner thoughts in me he's in me all the time (laughs) like it's just it's just kind of like with with your sister and stuff like that you guys are not exactly the same but like we're sisters and like we have the same tendencies we laugh exactly you're trying to act like your sister Mm -hmm. people either love her and hate me or hate me and love her i'm like fucking choose a side like me and her we getting together laughing having the best time i'm like you guys are fighting for no reason Uh uh-huh people are literally wasting their time online for something that is not that serious and Mm -hmm. something that's just kind of like bitch you are the one fighting with yourself at the end of the day you're fighting with the screen (laughs) honestly and i have never seen the point of going online and going on someone's fucking profile and being like i fucking hate you hope you fucking die like it doesn't make sense i have a very good mental human being mentality i would never wish that upon a person no 100 percent. it's really horrible like what kind of person you have to be like to be able to say those kind of things like grosieras and like it's just not okay like you're just not a good person you fuck yourself (laughs) what's one thing that you guys get compared to a lot like me and my sister Uh Mm -hmm. like against each other Uh, or just like no kind of like you know like with me and alan like you know how like when we say mood a lot or Mm -hmm. we go ah Uh, me and my sister will say the same things and they're like oh my gosh you're trying to be like her or if i cuss they're like oh my god you're just like your sister now or like anything anything can be wrong on the internet i'm like i didn't know that we couldn't be twins (laughs) i know right but you know like we're twins uh, yeah know, literally right? i was like just leave me the fuck alone <laughs> <laughs> and regardless of the case even though you guys are sisters you guys still have your own like person and personality yeah. but just people always like to just make sisters like if they're exactly the same but it's just crazy how people like to stir the pot that way it's just my mom oh, like yeah? I, my mom's on social media and they're like you don't like your mom huh <gasps> like your mom's this and that and i'm like no like, like it's just hard. it is hard to have your family online no, it too. is yeah that's like, why like all of us are on i uh, know that's why like i'm with my mom and stuff like that i know my mom has very thick skin like me but you know when they come to for your mom it's kind of like a whole different scenario uh-huh. we know the type of person that you are like at the end of the day it's like i know you're gonna get hurt but these are just people saying shit at the end of the day yeah. Yeah. like it doesn't fucking matter these people are low lives that don't want to either better themselves or just want to make the world a shitty place a shitty <laughs> place it really is like that has social media said anything well people you know yeah. said anything about like your kids or your family or anything yeah. Yes. Like that? me and my husband have a facebook page and people like will hate me on there and be like oh my god so will such a good dad all chelly does is smoke and get drunk and not take care of her kids and Bro. so what I, I was like i gave birth to them i could do whatever the fuck i want <laughs> i did my part you know how agonizing that fucking pain was yeah. I, like i deserve a birkin <laughs> <laughs> i've always said that i have a couple of friends that just got like pregnant and like they're about to like give birth yeah. and stuff like that i'll be like bitch if you don't give your fucking wife or your girlfriend or whatever the fuck they are oh fucking bergen like after they get birth i'm gonna sock you in your nuts and see how much the pain is gonna be i don't be. have a birkin where is it at what's I going on where is it at i was no, like well, come here <laughs> run the check <laughs> well uh, you know what to get her for her next birthday 
hand, 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 wink, wink. Or Mother's Day. Ah. <laughs> That's also another thing why me and Alan don't want to have kids and stuff like that. It's just, they're my little ducklings. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't want anybody to say anything about a kid that can't defend themselves. Exactly. Uh, but everyone comes from my two-year-old. She's a crybaby, but oh, she's but two. two. I was like, two. two-year-old, It's a terrible bro. twos. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? I'm sure every parent has experienced that. Mm-hmm. It's just people have a different way of like dealing with their children that they have a good way to like talk shit. You know what I mean? No, yeah. yeah. And everybody has their way of raising children. Like no child is the same. No child has the same personality. Yeah. Every child deals with things differently. And that's a parent's job to, you know, figure out how it is. Like as you mm-hmm. as you just said, you found out that your kid has anxiety and mm-hmm. you're doing your part as a mom yeah. to make sure like his school goes smoothly, how mm-hmm. he feels goes smoothly. Cause at the end of the day, like people are just fucking fucking they'll just stir up shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's yeah. just annoying. I don't know. But yeah. we are actually fortunately at the end of our podcast. Oh I'm about to go have sex. <laughs> No, we're actually going to go smoke. You already know. A little puff, puff, and pass. Mm. Um, But before we get going, we wanted to give one of our raiders a (laughs) a really big thing. So thank you so much to (laughs) ELSRT. I don't know. You guys have fucking weird ass usernames. Fucking simplify it. Y'all need to like make these a little easier. Hold up. I know. Just put the first letter of your name and your last name. I don't care. At least, you know. Or put or put or vlogs. Um, but thank you so much, babe. Um, we appreciate all your support. Thank you. Um, and, and you guys already know for the YouTube portion of this, go ahead and comment down below. Come back up. Click that like button. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I'm already drunk. <laughs> <laughs> click that like button and the subscribe button. And, and don't forget to leave a review, of course, on the podcast or on Spotify, Pandora, all the links around there. So don't forget. And then don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias at Call Me Danny. Mine's at or my tits XL. And she loves makeup name. Uh, 99 uh, fuck dude i'm so drunk <laughs> i cannot i hate wine i have That's never so finished strong. a full wine on an episode <laughs> Dude, it wasn't me no it was I, you so guys i poured some more on your cup girl mm. <laughs> i don't know but just, you away. No, <laughs> you just enjoy this one there. minute of chelly drinking her wine yay and let's see if she finishes it yeah she's like she's a little break okay my turn I felt that. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Danny. Oh my god. You're wild. I have You're a, crazy. I have, I have a deep throat, so. Oh. <laughs> I only I have, have a little bit. A ver, Irma, let's see your deep throat. Oh my fucking yeah. god. <laughs> a ver, let's see yours. Ah. <laughs> My throat's all burning. Oh, it's okay. It's only a little bit. Oh, she finished it. Love well, it. thank you so much, Chelly, for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. And you know, if you ever come out with your own podcast, you know where to find us. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to be on my show. Ah. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, I'm going to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Road trip, here it is. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.